Hello everyone, some old oak tree here. Welcome back to the channel. So in between episodes, I tinkered around a little bit with some create stuff. I also uh, tinkered around with this fancy Traveler's Backpack mod that we got. And I also nabbed a couple villagers. But as you can see, they're no longer with us, thanks to my shenanigans. I, uh, I went spelunking, and since I don't have this area lit up, a bunch of mobs spawned and took out the villagers. And I also wound up <laughs> initiating a death loop that went on forever. I wound up getting my gear, but... That has led me to rename this island to the Cursed Isle. Yeah. So last episode, we built this fancy windmill here. We have a little over 3,000 stress units to work with. Some of it's being taken up by this mill. There's also a mechanical press here. This is the little workstation area I put together. Got my carpenter's bench, mason, tinker table, I've got the shepherd's workbench, the botanist workbench, and the glassblower's workbench. The only thing I'm missing is the... I think it's the alchemy workbench. Which, I, I haven't got the uh, enchanting table yet. We'll probably get to that at some point in this episode. But anyway, I have all these stress units to work with, and I thought it would be fun to play around a little bit more with the create mod. I want to toy with the mechanical harvesters. See what I can do with those. It might be nice to put together a sugarcane farm, too. Another thing I did in between episodes was breed up some animals. But then I wound up raiding a bunch of villages for books anyway, so I didn't really need the cows. <laughs> but uh, it'll make a good source of food. Let's see here. So I got just enough books to make, well, yeah, I have just enough books to make 15 bookshelves. And I have nearly a stack of steak. We have a map of the island here. Which is kind of nice. We also have a composter here. So we actually have the windmill coming in from the top and the water mill coming in from the side and they kind of couple together right here which gives us a combined 3,000 stress units. I'm sure there's a way I could max this out but I just wanted this to be an aesthetical build too. Okay, so just out of curiosity... I 
see this guy. Oh, we need the stone cutter. Okay. So. Let's just see. Hmm. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Hmm. It's interesting. I wish it would stack the other way, though. But anyway, I wanted to see. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Now you know. I like that. But it's not practical for what I'm trying to do here. There it goes, okay. So I must have had something glued that wasn't supposed to be glued. So just a test again. Comes through. Don't quite know how to stop that from happening. I guess the only way would be to bring the gantry shaft out farther. So we need two more on this end, probably. So then it stops there. So this is a viable thing. We could actually do this. We just need to figure out the controls. Want a gear shift here. Doesn't necessarily have to be there. Cog. Let's still spin it, yeah. But I don't really want to do that. I want it to look halfway decent. So here's the uh, traveler's backpack thing. We can shift click it down, get out our bedroll, sleep on it, and that does not change our spawn. So that's pretty cool. We'll probably want to do something like this. There's our gear shift which we might actually want to lower. 
so that we have this going into the ground. Don't want to be walking around a bunch of contraptions. We can do this. Probably connect them with a belt. Then probably gonna want it to come out right here, right? So where's that at? It's like right here in the center. Right. So we'll probably want to do the same thing here. We'll need another gearbox. Okay, let's think about this. So, if I have this guy here... That increases the speed. But if I put this guy right here, the speed stays the same as that down there, because it's stepping back down again. So if I actually put it on that guy, that increases the speed. And so if I do that. That should make it faster. Okay, so that makes it a little faster. How many times can I step this guy up though? Yeah, buddy. <laughs> so here's my attempt to make this look halfway decent. I just used a bunch of chipped stuff along with the uh, create panels that let you put a block into it like this right here. So I, I wanted it to seem like it was structurally supported, kind of. I'm going to cover this up. I'm not done yet, but I have some railing here that I'm going to kind of figure out what I want to do as far as the block I want to put into it. I don't want dirt, but, y you know. So anyway, we just got this on a gantry. You flick the lever and it goes one way, harvests anything that it's able to harvest. All of that stuff gets put in this chest. And then flick the lever and it goes back. I want this to be automatic, but I'm not entirely sure how I want it to trigger. So I just left it on a lever for now. I could do like a T flip flop. And then whenever I press the button, it comes this way. Maybe it hits an observer, which pulses the flip flop to make it go back the other way. But we'll see. For now, I want to... Uh, test a little more. I don't know if this will harvest pumpkins or not, but I might test it out and see. And then I gotta do the other side. And then figure out how we're gonna tie this all together as far as design goes. So anyway, I'll get to that and I'll catch you in the next clip.
Okay, we're back. And uh, overall, I'm satisfied with this uh, build. I'm not too sure about the spruce. Not entirely sure about the roof. I just used the chip mod to make bricks out of nether rack. I struggled with the uh, this top layer here, as you saw in the time lapse. But yeah, I wanted a building with my portal, my enchanting area, and then down here I might do like some sort of alchemy thing or something. Or maybe it could be like for librarians or whatever. I'm at the point where my tools are getting degraded and I'm running through resources really fast and I need to get my uh, enchantment stuff going. I'd at least like fortune, uh, but I keep losing <laughs> my levels to uh, silly deaths. I don't know what the deal is. I'm usually not that bad at Minecraft, but I wonder if I could see what the local difficulty is. <laughs> Five point two. That's pretty high, right? I do plan to detail this, by the way. I just like get some shrubbery, and I thought about putting a banner up there in the middle, and then maybe on the sides here, make it have some extra details. If I get villagers, I'm probably gonna set up librarians or something right here. I think we actually will go the villager route because I do have enough resources to uh, get some library and trading started. And I should have enough resources to get a sugarcane farm going. Go to a taiga village because the island I was on was originally a cold biome. Also, this village is. Already got villagers nicely packed in crates. <laughs> okay. Now we must plan our escape. So I need to go out here. And then south. Oh look, another boat. Okay. You are not about to hop in here with the villager, mister. It's kind of interesting. Is that like one of those meteors or something? It's like a giant boulder. I'm kind of curious what's inside there. <laughs> we have time. Because I know some of these bigger ones, yeah, they have iron sometimes. I think this is uh, thanks to the Terralith mod. Guess we'll grab some copper too. Why not? Okay, you wait here, and I'm gonna go get your friend. Okay, guy. I know you don't want to look at me, but I need your full cooperation. Yeah. I guess you don't, you just don't want to look at me. Uh, don't move the boat. No! Uh, I, I promise I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry. Do you want a profession? Can I interest you in a profession? Okay. You don't want to get in the boat? Okay. Try this one more time. We will use hitboxes this time. Please just get your profession. Is it because you're still linked to your bed? Oh. Okay. My guys, 
Ah, I see. It's because you wanted the profession. Okay, my guys. I'm gonna need you to follow me. This is your new home for now. I would appreciate it if you, uh... Oh, you want the composter? Oh, it's the barrel, huh? You're after the barrels. Well, my friends, these barrels are not for you. They are for me. How do I get you not to path to the barrels? Stop trampling my crops. Thanks for slamming the door in my face. I appreciate it. Come on, guy. You're so frustrating. Please get out of my house. I know it's cool, but this is not where you belong. Oh, so now you want to link to the uh, blast furnace, huh? Okay. Thanks for breaking my axe. I appreciate it. Oh, so now you're a cartographer? That's interesting. Okay. That should be every workstation. Please go. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Come on, guy. Okay, you should be safe in here. Should be able to, uh, keep them from pathing. I know bedrock's more finicky and they'll just path through blocks, but I think Java, they still can only path inside of their contained area. Looks like they did run my crops a bit. We'll start you guys off with a stack of carrots. Does that sound good? Oh. What, what's out here? Are y'all still linked to y'all's beds? Oh, hey, hey. Guys, I promise you don't want to be out there. Here, take some carrots. You don't want carrots? You don't like carrots? Guy. Take some carrots. Oh my lord. I just realized something. I'm gonna have a baby villager on the loose out here. <laughs> oh, oh y'all don't y'all think y'all don't have a bed? Was it that I gave y'all pink beds? Is that what it is? You don't like pink? Ah, <sighs> I guess I'm gonna have to break all their beds and stuff at their village villagers are so infuriating I guess this will be nice because I can get some extra beds Now, is that all the houses? It looks like it. I don't think this is... I think this is a separate village over here. At least I'm hoping. Let's see if that did the trick.
Joe ever breed? I don't think he did, huh? Maybe if I reload. Maybe they'll do it at night. Okay, I'm going to sort this out, figure out the uh, sugarcane situation. And I'll get back to you guys in the next clip. Okay, so I pulled the data on one of the villagers. And... Where did I see it at? Looks like they see home as these coordinates here. So I'm going to go check that out and see if they're linked to a bed over there because they are still refusing to link to these beds. 1485 minus 886. It's a minus eight eight six or minus eight six six eight six six. So this guy, yeah, this is his home. Maybe I should have broke the bed before I left with them. I don't know how to fix that. Hmm. Went ahead and put an iron door up here. Wonder. Stop moving. He's also over there in his brain. Hmm. I don't know how to write data into these guys. So I might. Hmm. I did get this guy and I'm breaking trade. And this guy an efficiency trade so that's cool but I just need them to breed now <sighs> I'm tempted to uh... tempted to just write data in in the uh... What is that app called? The uh, NBT editor, but I might just uh, go get two more villagers. <laughs> uh, I don't know. So here is the data file for my world. I guess I should have. Uh, Oh, it looks like there's a bugged region file. Awesome, I didn't know that bug still existed. Guess I need to figure out what chunk that's in. Huh. 
65 and minus 12. There we are. Villager. Home. So maybe if we delete this. And then Save it. This might be a mistake. There we go. I think they went to their bed now. Let's see here. Data get entity. This guy. So now we have. Yes. We reset their home. Cool. Yeah, I, I'm sorry I took the lazy way. I didn't want to go all the way back and get new villagers. I didn't want to take these guys back to let them know that their homes were destroyed. <laughs> it's a win win. Now the question is, will they breed? Ooh. Look at them getting freaky. <laughs> Sounds like they made a baby, yes! So excited. You want to jump on the bed? It's not cool when I do it. Okay. Alrighty, so we, we got some villager breeding going on, I think. They did have a baby that escaped, and he was trampling my crop, so I dispensed of him, and they have not bred since, so there might be an issue, but we'll figure that out. I went ahead and started designing the sugarcane farm. Which I don't have enough materials to do the complete setup right now. Basically the observer sends a pulse to this block and takes this piston directly underneath it without affecting the other piston as you can see. Some sort of magic going on there. We'll go ahead and double verify that. This is actually, it's called a... Uh, Pearl sand, which is thanks to the chipped mod and the botanist workbench. I just threw some sand in there and there were different variations to choose from. And then we got some, these are actually tough blocks that I changed with the uh, mason's bench. So that's pretty cool. I'm thinking this is going to be mm, roughly 16 segments long and then mirror it on the other side and then probably underneath here we'll have a minecart going back we'll encase this and have a minecart underneath going back and forth to pick up the drops so that's going to be the idea with that and over here i actually completed the return design anyway and this is also some sand, just some gray sand. What's it actually called? 
dusty gravel, so that's cool. That's also in the botanist workbench. But uh, I was trying to get this, I was going to put it on a T flip flop and do a bunch of vanilla redstone, but then I stumbled across this recipe in Create. It's basically a lever that's uh, works like a T flip flop. It's called a toggled a toggle latch. So whenever I uh, flick the switch, it changes the direction of the rotational force. It makes the uh, harvester go down the gantry. The observer picks it up and switches that lever back on, which changes the rotation back and returns the uh, cart automatically which is a step in the right direction. I'm going to have to clean up all of this stuff that our new boy trampled. Uh, and I'm going to have to figure out the breeding issue I'm having. Maybe it's just they're not... Maybe there's a cooldown period since I took out the, uh, the villager that was wandering out here. Anyway, um... What I want to do with this is uh, eventually, let's see, it's called a redstone link, which I don't have any brass, and I'm going to have to, uh, I think I'm going to have to get a blaze burner for some brass. Yeah, uh, the idea is we get the redstone link, and then we basically have wireless redstone, and I could have a button in here that, uh, maybe I could make this whole entire one of these rooms in here dedicated to, uh, all the farms, where I could toggle them on and off. The only way I could make this, uh, turn off is if I, uh, let's see, do I have a lever or something? I would probably need redstone dust across the observers. Yeah, and then that would prevent the farm from running and the, uh, I guess I could leave those on. Keep the sugar cane from growing. So the plan going forward is, uh, I need to start enchanting some things so that I could better handle the better nether. The better end. God, that's so loud. Let's maybe set that to 35. It's pretty intense. Yeah, I want to get enchanted. Start with enchanted tools so that I can get more diamonds, get some enchanted armor so I can survive the nether and the end. And I can't wait to do the uh, better end dragon fight because the better end is amazing in the dragon fight. It just adds to the whole dragon fight experience and everything. Defeating the ender dragon in the better end is really awesome. Unfortunately, that's all I have time for this episode. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. And if you want to see more content like this in the future, consider subscribing. It would help the channel out a lot and I would really appreciate it. Anyway, until next time, bye!